which depends on the artificial intelligence. My team contains one member. My name is Habiba Mohamed Mohsen Ali Am. I'm 12 years old. I am from Egypt. This is my second time to be participated in a competition. In my first competition, I was participated in R Capco Space Rescue U12 and I took the first place in most adductional value, the first place in community awareness, the second place in best presentation, and the third place in community building. In this competition, I participated in our Capco Space Rescue First Steps U19, and I'm happy to be participated in this competition in the First Steps category. My challenge mission depends on collect the R or GGBB and deposit them fast. And to achieve this mission correctly, there are some problems which I investigate. Number 1. Some objects are out from the blue special zone. 2. If there is an error when targeting squares. 3. Obstacles that prevent the robot from turning by the true way. So, first, I want to show you my way to solve problems and my strategies, then in each strategy, the problem and its solution. Problem solving. AI depends on problem solving. And to solve the problems, we have to define the problem, generate new ideas, implement and evaluate. When I solve a problem, I work to divide it into sub-problems. Then, solve the sub-problems to reach the solution of the main problem. And this process is called Divide and Conquer Algorithm. Strategy 1. The start point is to turn to 270 degrees to reach the blue special zone. Then, to collect two signed objects from it, and if the robot touch the white area or be out of the sign objects area, the robot will turn to keep collecting objects inside it. Then, when collect the two sign objects, the robot will turn to 180 degrees to collect two red objects. in strategy 1. The sign objects are in position x1 and position y1 and the red objects are in position x1 and position y0 which contains the blue special zone and non-blue special zone while I want the robot to collect the objects from the blue special zone. So the robot will keep searching in the blue special zone only and must see the blue color while while picking up objects. The robot had to go to the black objects area to get two black objects, so I use targeting squares to reach it. When be in position X1 and position Y1, the robot had to be directed between 248 and 270 degrees. Then, if the robot see the wall by 15 cm, the robot will turn to 180 degrees to reach the black objects area.
problem is strategy 2. In case of error, when turned to the compass direction between 248 and 270 degrees, so if the robot sends a wall by 15 centimeters, the robot will turn to 180 degrees to reach the black object's area. Strategy 3. After collecting the RRGGBB, the robot had to reach the deposit fast. So, when we in position X2 and position Y from 0 to 1, the robot will turn to 0 degrees. And when touch the upper green line, turn left to reach the deposit. After depositing, the robot will turn to 0 degrees. Problems in Strategy 3 when turned to 0 degrees in position X2 and position Y0, there is an obstacle. So, if see the obstacle by 15 cm, the robot will turn a big turn to the right. Strategy 4. At the last minute, the robot will collect random objects and deposit them fast. The challenge task can be broken into many tasks, as try to control the robot to keep collecting objects from a certain place, make the way of transferring from one position to another more faster and easier to avoid wasting of time, reach the deposit after collecting the RRGGBB to get 180 points, avoid trap fast using compass. The robot doesn't always perform as what I have planned and coded. The problem can be in deposit is near the trap or between obstacles. And when I test the code, the robot runs individually. So I can test two codes against each other. I solve it by see the number of the current action and try to fix the problem. The start point is to turn to 270 degrees to collect two sign objects and after collecting them the robot will turn to 180 degrees to collect two red objects and then the robot had to reach the black objects area to collect two black objects and after collecting them the robot had to make deposit in the upper collection box and at the last minute the robot will pick up random colors of objects and deposit them.
This is my flowchart that represents my strategy. If the color sensor detects yellow, the robot will avoid it. If the color sensor detects orange color by two color sensors, while the loaded objects are equal to six, the robot will make deposit. If the color sensor detects the orange color by one color sensor, the robot will increase the speed of the opposite wheel. If detect object while the loaded objects are smaller than six, the robot will pick up it. If detect the wall by the right ultrasonic sensor, the robot will turn left. If detect the wall by the left color sensor, the robot will turn to the right. If position X equal 1 and position Y is between 0 and 2, and the time is smaller than 240, if the loaded objects are smaller than 2, and the robot is out of position X1 and position Y1, the robot will turn to be in. If the loaded objects are equal to 2, while position X is equal 1 and position Y is from 1 to 2, the robot will turn to 180 degrees. If the loaded objects are smaller than 4, and the robot is out of position X1 and position Y0, the robot will turn to be in. If the loaded objects are equal to 4, while position X is 1 and position Y is 0, the robot will turn to 0 degrees. If the loaded objects are equal to 4, and position X is 1 and position Y1, the compass will be set to be between 248 and 270. If the loaded objects are equal to 0, while position X1 and position Y2, the robot will turn to 0 degree. If position X2 and position Y from 0 to 1, while the loaded objects are bigger than 3, if position X equals 2 and position Y equals 1, and see the wall by 15 cm, the robot will turn to 180 degrees. If position X is equal to and position Y equal 1, while the loaded objects are equal to 5, the robot will turn to 180 degrees. If the robot is fully loaded while position X is 2, the robot will turn to 0 degrees. And if the robot is fully loaded, and see the upper green color, the robot will turn left to reach the deposit. If the robot is fully loaded and see the upper green color, the robot will turn to zero degree. over the score and I find my strategy is good and my score is good too. It goes in order and organization and doesn't deviate from the interaction. If I were asked to solve the same challenge again, I guess that I'm going to make the same strategies but by making more accurate turns using compass. This is my result comparison. My future work is to resume my C language studies to control the robot more and more and to improve my school, as the C language is used in both of hardware and software robotics. Then I would like to share my learning experience. I learned many things from CoSpace and I gained new knowledge and skills during the process of preparing myself to the competition as I know more about machine language and strategic planning. 
I learn the problem solving as I can, define the problem, generate new ideas, implement and evaluate. The idea of artificial intelligence has been grown in my mind and I can turn a complex operation to a simple operation.